hours for the next 48 um, uh, <laughs> light years. Uh, if you're new here, hi. If you're not new here, hi. Um, I think I'm just going to post this like outside of my schedule because Earth is earthing very, very hard. And this is, I I, I kind of look at this as like a pop-up reading, right? Because I, I have a method to my madness, y'all, in order to ward off the evil, because that's what I'm doing here. So Gemini is my safe space. If Gemini is not a safe space sign for you, then you probably wouldn't want to be here because I probably don't talk about, I, my readings are not really sometimes formulated in a way of like what I can just give you for for free at, at the expense of my detriment. So uh, yeah, Gemini, it's just uh, air signs, okay? We're going to just pop <laughs> into uh three aspects of your universe this next um 48 hours i just i feel like if anybody has an over extensively amount of gemini in their chart it it could be certain transits that you're going through gemini that's like what the <laughs> where you're like what What's going on? Need more spiritual arsenal. I feel like there's something significant about bodies coming behind you, Gemini, this next 48 hours, because it really feels like, I feel like some of you guys here, you already, okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces could be significant here that I'm hearing the water energy here. Oh, also uh, electricity, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could be significant here because I feel like you, you got, you hold heat in the spirit realm, Gemini, but I feel like the next 48 hours, I feel like there's energy bodies coming from your past and your future to literally help you manifest things that they need to manifest. It's almost as if like um, a giving tree. I think that's a good way to explain it. I think I'm, I, I think that's what I'm getting at. Um, you know how like, uh, or, or what are those things? Ah, oh, shit. I did that when I used to work for uh, people. Um, ah, oh, what is it called? Like a Santa exchange. I don't know the name. I cannot think of it off the top of my head, but like where everybody pitches in to like get everybody, a gift like everybody is getting something like nobody's left out and with this need more spiritual arts and i feel like what's happening with your money gemini this next uh 48 hours particularly is you need spiritual arsenal to become a successful entrepreneur in your family. So this is just like the reality of it. There's businesses out here that there's something out here running off of something in terms of money, right? So we got businesses, they're, they're running and relying off of those sales, those clients, those customers, that engagement, um, that credit and banking system. I don't even want to get into the banking system right now because everything is just so wild. Um, if you are, if you're working for an employer, like you're, you're running your time and your energy or what, what, what you give. Cause I, I don't think I've met a Gemini that's going to work <laughs> hard. I mean, Gemini's that work smart, not hard. So maybe that I feel like, okay. So also this other thing in terms of your money, and then I'm going to move on to this Knight of swords because I feel like the successful entrepreneur energy, right? The, this could be a home-based business. This could be a location-based business. Um, this could be something where it's just like you, um, you, you are defining success in a way that may not make sense to other people, but, um, I feel like some people may be misinterpreting your working smart as working hard um, because not everybody's going to understand the the method of how Gemini does something. So it, to, to someone else, say, let me give an example. Say you could produce like, um, we'll use... You will use YouTube as an example or um, social media. Um, say you produce like 16 pieces of content in one day. Like somebody um, maybe that is not, doesn't have that entrepreneurial spirit or maybe somebody here that's not in that wavelength or on that that time or plan, whichever. Um, 
they may think you're working too hard. <laughs> Your spirit team's like, no. For Gemini, it's a matter of working smart. So with destroys and burns all enemies when requested, speaks of the creation of the world. Some of you guys here with this Knight of Swords energy, I feel the energy of like a time portal, Gemini. It could be that you are finding yourself like looking for some type of information in time periods that you think you may not exist. If you, you hear you existed and all of them, honestly, don't matter. Even if you got Gemini in the first house, honestly, if you have Gemini in the first house, you are probably one of the original um, light bulbs or um, orbs. You're probably one of the original orbs that were here when the planet first started. I... Baby, let's keep going. Work your magic on this situation, Gemini. Someone is lying about their money dealings. My absolute favorite card because <laughs> I feel like, honestly, I feel like a lot of people on earth are lying about their money dealings. So y'all be careful, okay? Because this could be your boss or employer saying that they ain't got no money. Their contracts is going belly up and they were trying to lay you off. And they just got like a $2 million payout, but they just, they're not trying to share that with everybody. Um, this, if you are in business or corporate or whichever, like this could be, you know, your investors or shareholders and somebody telling you, oh, you know, the, the markets is good. Like, you know, the, the numbers are good. We see the forecast is going to be projected, blah, blah, blah. And then it's like, no, it's like Ghostbusters, y'all. Like when they were like, literally the ghost was like flying around the city and then the <laughs> and mayor's like, oh, it's fine. <laughs> Nothing's going on. So that's what I look at that when someone's lying about their money dealings. It's like somebody's making it seem like everything, someone is making it seem like either everything is going wrong and that's not true, or there's some ones or people's in your universe that's making it seem like everything is going right and that's not true. I like to be in the in between spaces. So if, it, if it's not going wrong, it's not going wrong. If it's not going right, it's not going right. However, if I'm not where I want to be, I'm in the middle. So I feel like whatever this energy is, is trying to keep you in the middle when things are supposed to be going right for you. Especially with the Knight of Swords. That's a lot of ideas, opinions. That's a lot of like, baby, the Knight of Swords is like that, that night on the battlefield where like, um, you know, Haley... Upton and Chicago PD gives a very Knight of Swords energy. Like, so if anybody needs a visual representation of what Knight of Swords energy could be, it's that person that you tell them, um, don't. Like in Avengers Infinity War, when uh Star Lord was telling them to like go telling Gamora to go left. <laughs> And she didn't go left. That's the Knight of Swords. It's like because what's overpowering them, it, it's all happening in their upstairs chamber. Yeah. Knave of Chalices. Those of you guys that are in love, I feel like if you are called to hold the line, if you are called to cleanse the energy and hold the um the sacred spirit spaces, okay, for your relationship, union, marriage, especially with that Empress and this Queen of Pentacles, I feel like spell work is adding an enormously all-time high. Um, and that's just that's just in general, y'all. You don't know motherfuckers out here casting spells to avoid what's going on, to in to enhance and entice what's going on. But I will say, um, uh commitment may be a word that it doesn't really seem like it's existing with this transit, however it is. I feel like whatever anxiety has been plaguing you and your boo at this time, very much so is because this Queen of Pentacles energy is is coming out upside down in the reverse. So this is where we get to like the energy work, the root work, the the finances, the um matters of the home, matters of the 3D, okay? Especially here in Gemini. Don't let nobody be suggesting y'all nothing that you know you done solved that problem or you decided that that wasn't a problem you could solve. 10 years ago, 15 years ago, it's it's almost as like, I, I think I said this in another reading. I'm not sure what sign or where. Um, and like I said, this one is kind of like an emergency intervention, like pop up outside of my normal, because I'm, I'm backlogged, y'all, okay? <laughs> um, so say like you tried something in like 2009 and it wasn't a hit. And like now it's 2024 and you have people suggesting things to you from that time period where it's like your spirit team, um, in order to make sure you're not being deceived, in order to make sure you're not suffering from any type of illusionary, whichever, your spirit team is like, hey, we need you to focus on like matters of 2030, 2040. Um, 
2050. Um, there's still going to be a planet in 2050, y'all. It's probably just going to look like the Jetsons. So if anybody's freaking out, I just, it's, you got to, this is going to sound so crazy. You got to pick a movie and know that that's your future. I don't know. Like, it sounds weird. However, I'll just say there's some movies that's getting a little too realistic out here. And I'm not saying like ignore what's going on in your world. I don't believe in that. Some people can't. Some people cannot. Um, however, it's it's a balancing of not just your central nervous system, uh, Gemini, but I learned this last night. I think it's called your peripheral nervous system or peripheral. I don't know how to say it. Y'all, healthcare people don't come for me. So because the nine of so and I'm saying that because the nine of swords is at the bottom. So it's I don't know. It's almost like sometimes when I see this energy, I forget about everything else. So if you are in a relationship, if you're in a union or marriage, it's just like y'all's anxieties or some type of intrusive thoughts is at an all time excessive high, but it's at the bottom of the deck. So it's almost as if like, this isn't something that, you know, you're just, you're not, whatever is going on with you guys, you're not running out in the streets and shouting it or proclaiming it, or you might not be very loud in your friend group or your circle group, or even if you have a group, like this is those you know, silent stressors at work, right? The people who just go to work or just work on their things and they just stay quiet. Like you in a pit, I, baby, I'd have been crying in a pickup line and <laughs> middle school pickups for like the last week and a half. And I'm just like, I've just made peace with the fact that I'm like, okay, this is me. This is me getting this out. Like this is me releasing this. So it's not keeping me trapped. So it's not making me feel like I'm reverting back to this three of swords energy about my family, about my my own self-love journey, but also even about my partner or boo, whichever. And, and then the emotions revert back to like, I have so much to unpack and I just like don't even know. I don't have enough time. And I'm not saying this as in I want to cut the reading short because I want to go charge some people. Like I've been seeing some wild shit on the internet. Like, you know what, what's the one thing that's most irritating about humanity is like how loud people get about such nonsense bullshit when there's so many real life things going on. And I, I, I know that there's probably like a lot of things popping overseas, but I'm talking about where I'm at. I'm on American soil or concrete. <laughs> and it's like, not even a matter of like use your platform for like great things. Just like, why be so worried about somebody else's hustle when it could be your hustle is the one that changes the world, that changes something, changes your world. Because not everybody, I used to talk about this in Aries a lot. Not everybody wants to go out and change the whole entire world. You may want to change many worlds or many systems. However, looking at this Knight of Swords piece, it's just almost as if like your your enemies are not just trying to steal your ideas and opinions. It's like they don't even want you to believe in them. Knights need belief. They need courage. They need bravery. They need a little directive. Now, unless this is a Knight of Swords that feels like his kingdom has been under siege for too long and he's going to go out and battle despite what the king says, and he's going to charge out there and be like, rah, rah. that's different. <laughs> that's different. It's like the 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 changes and shifts that's happening in your relationship or your love life, Gemini, is not just happening so you and your boo can constantly be in this little circle dance of like um, weakened feminine energy. It's like y'all spirits need to be stronger than than any before. And I have said this, I see a lot of things on the internet where people talk about like the takeover, the divine feminine um, energy, but y'all, y'all gotta watch out for these divine masculines that's hungry <laughs> for healing. Okay. Not all men out here want to be scallywags. Am I a little biased because I'm a boy mom? Yep. Cause I refused. So not 
just pay attention, like pay attention to the energies in your relationship. Like when you guys are not just needing to pause, but needing to recalibrate, because that's what I feel like this next 48 hours is hours. This is a recalibration of you guys' spiritual strength and spiritual energies. So you can tune more into what your body is needing and saying. So you can know when, hey, this is this is somebody trying to get over on us or trying to get over on me or trying to get over on my family. Um, be leery of people trying to buy, okay, your decisions. I am very, I'm so serious. I, not all money, not all money can talk and not all money can walk. And I, I, I need the one that run, probably even swim. So just be mindful. I don't, I don't know who this is for. I don't know what, what we're doing here. I've, I've kind of given up trying to figure that out. But I, this this love spread is very exciting. But then also it just kind of feels like a, hey, you know, this Queen of Pentacles coming out in a reverse has been like this is a, a recurring thing at this point. This is this is an energy where it's like. You know what you're supposed to be doing, you know where the root attention is needed at, however this like meddling interference meddling mental interferences is just i feel like not helping you and your boo so now whether this is quiet whether um yeah whether this is quiet or loud or somebody like talking um tales of the past and the future can make one intelligent and bold i mean it could just be a lot of spiritual gifts activating as well especially seeing wands and swords here so uh teaches the virtue of herbs and stones makes birds appear birds i just i ain't even gonna <laughs> y'all be smooth and be breezing um yeah i hope this helps somebody Toodle.